Hi, I'm Ryan O'Dowd of the Black Hand Communique, and for now what I'm going to do is show you a few little tokens for survival or revolution that I've picked up. First of all, this is a multi-utility knife sharpener, which includes a steel carbide blade, a ceramic refiner, and a diamond steel sharpener on the end for fine polishing. And that's really useful because it'll sharpen just about anything made out of metal. Speaking of which, today I got this in the mail. This is a small utility survival knife made of carbon steel with the rib back, full tang piece of metal. has a hole so you can attach it uh, you know, to your belt or whatever you like comes with a holster and a flint for starting a fire this is an 80 pound crystal pistol self cocking crossbow used for small game squirrels, rabbits, birds, things like that you just hold it, push the button, grab the end, cock it. And then when there is a bolt put in it, you fire at something. And ideally you hit it. And then you eat it. After you use this to take it apart. To dress it, to clean it, to skin it, etc, etc. Now finally, what I have called a filter straw and this one is a special one because it not only does it have a carbon filter it also has an additional micro filter so that it will kill and filter out 99.99 percent of bacteria and viruses protozoans it'll also filter out chlorine iodine bromine and heavy metals arsenic lead etc so pretty much you could put this in a puddle that you took a shit in and you can drink out of it and it's not going to make you sick. Now if it's in w clear water, it'll, it'll last for 300 gallons and if you do it in turbid water, like the disgusting scenario I just described, then it will be up to 30 gallons before you have to change the filter. But still, in an emergency, it's a nice thing. And what I plan on using it for actually is I collect rainwater here. I have 380 gallon rainwater barrels and I'm going to start drinking that shit so I don't have to pay a water bill anymore. Take that government. Now, this is completely unrelated, but it's still cool. It's my jazz bass. And I'm going to play music because I can, and because if you're watching this, then that means I have a captive audience. So uh, if you don't want to hear it, then too bad, because I'm gonna play it anyway. Plugging it into my input jack right now. Turning on the amp, the polyphonic octa generator, and the big buff pie. And now I get to rock a little bit.